Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, project at hand here today is I want to get these posts replaced. Um, actually started scraping them the other day because they were looking kind of ratty and then uh, the more that I did that, the more I realized these are getting pretty rotted. You can see on the front of this one, this was like, uh, I don't know if it split, if it was a laminated beam or something, but you can see it's almost like nice screws from the uh, flag holder kind of cracked it, but it's it sounds almost hollow inside. So that's got to be replaced. Um, won't trust that. And then this one is really bad over here. It's all rotted. And I wouldn't trust that with the snow load this winter. So obviously it wasn't worth painting. So I went up to uh, Lowe's and I got a couple new ones. Um, I also got a bag of concrete because I want to fix the cracks and stuff in here. Um, but that ended up getting rained on. So I'm probably gonna have to buy a new bag, but that was like three bucks, 350 or something. So that's not a big deal. That's probably no good anymore. Um, the posts, they were like 25 bucks a piece, which was a little bit surprising that they weren't more because they're treated and, uh, you know, obviously somebody's got to turn them on a lathe. And shoot, I heard 4 by 4s are, you know, that aren't turned are almost that much anymore. So, uh, good deal there. And then uh, I'm going to go up to the garage right now, grab some tools, and we'll get started. All right, so the plan is to use this oak 4x4 here, um, and then this 2x, I'm gonna set that vertically on the jack. This will go horizontally under the uh, corner of the porch here, and that should give me enough space to get that out. Um, but I brought these uh, little framing brackets out, because I'm gonna just, I think, throw them on there like that so it holds the two by and the four by zip screws to that and then when i stuck the two by in there that'll be held so i won't have to have an extra set of hands pre drilling the oak because otherwise you'll just bust these screws right off this is pretty hard stuff All right, now I gotta get my height so I can cut that. Just needs to be close. We got lots of room for error with the jack, so I figure it's 93. Cut it a little short. This should be four. So this needs to be like 89-ish. Do it an inch short.
good. That worked pretty good. Only problem is I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this little standoff again. That broke coming out. Um, it's just like a plastic uh, foot for the, for lack of a better term, for the um, post to sit on so that it's not sitting directly on the concrete. But honestly, this isn't a treated post and mine is, so I don't know if that's really necessary anymore or not. All right, I got this, uh, got this um, bracket from local hardware store. And I'm gonna try, I think, and put a couple tap cons in. Um, about like that. I'm going to drill. This only had one tap con in it, so I think if I put one in this corner, one in that corner, that'll be more than sufficient. And then that'll hold that to my pad here. And then this goes in like that. Your 4x4 sits right there, and you just screw in from the sides. Um, the more I thought about it, I really don't want to ha have that setting right here because um, just the wood on the uh, block here because then you have nothing holding that in at the bottom. There's no way to really put a screw in like that. So that'll keep the post solid and from kicking out. Um, so let's try to do that real quick and uh, get this post in. This goes all right. You can see the outline of the pole, so. Okay, let's get our measurement.
gonna slowly let the jack down. Maybe. So one thing I notice is this old laminated beam must not have been a true 4x4, it's probably like 5x5, five five, 4 and a quarter, by 4 and a quarter, whereas the 4x4 four four is what, 3 and a half? Yeah, so this is about 3 quarters of an inch, smaller both ways, but the only place it really matters is up there where they notch that header out on the inside. So that's like a half an inch. You'll never see that. So let's put uh, screws back in the top and then we'll run a few screws in the bottom here. All right, one side done and it looks nice. Time to repeat on the other side. nice it was not too bad hardest part was figuring out what to do with those brackets that uh, the post set on and uh, the more I thought about it you really do need those so um, not too bad a couple hours and one extra trip to the uh, to the hardware store for those but turned out turned out nice um, I guess I'll come back in a couple months and probably paint those uh, I may make a separate video about repairing these blocks, um, but this is gonna be enough for this one, I think. And then uh, just gotta trim these back. Get this place looking real nice. On to the next project. Thanks for watching, guys. You can see just how rotted that one was. That could have buckled any time. That whole piece was pretty bad. Glad we uh, found it before it was a catastrophic failure with the snow load this winter. <laughs>